local man who is known for creating works of art. You might have actually spotted some of his paintings. All right, guys, get this. He refuses to sell them. Mr. Cody Stark, that's right, is an antelope with all of the details. Good morning, Cody. Indeed, indeed. So we should probably tell the backstory of how we met. Uh, <laughs> I was going to physical therapy. You were going to physical therapy. And I went there a week before you, and I saw these beautiful paintings on the wall. You know, they have the posters of this is your spine messed up, and this is this thing. But there was these beautiful paintings on the wall, and I noticed them. And I was like, well, those are lovely. And then the next week, you came in. And, and Joseph, and we started talking, and, and you told me those were your paintings. And I thought, well, that's gorgeous. Do you sell these things? How much do you sell these things for? Nothing. Nothing. He, he refuses to sell them. He, he Well, maybe one day if someone <laughs> gives me some kind of huge uh, offer. Who knows? But that's part of the deal. It's, this is part of your personal therapy, a journey that you've been on, painting these paintings. And you give them to people. And I think, Joseph, I think that is the loveliest thing. Not everyone. <laughs> people that I like. <laughs> so the how did I don't like I give them the ugly ones. <laughs> so how did you get into painting? What what inspired you? Well, I've always been in creative. Same time, so I couldn't deal with life. Mm. And I just started painting because, you know, I've done a few before, but I didn't really, really, really paint until 2020. And so to escape my mind, I did like two and three a day. Oh. Um, and I would paint as fast as I could because it filled my head up with um, goodness and it kept my mind off of what was really going on. Mm, mm. You know, so I'm glad I'm here so I can still paint and drive you mad. <laughs> <laughs> that you do. That you do. So that's how Joseph and I met. And then uh, you offered to teach me how to paint, which I think is going to be great. We're going to learn something. Did I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, or maybe I talked you into that. I can't remember. Well, and I remember I parked to get to physical therapy and I noticed you with your orange board shows. I go, you know what? I don't, that's the only person I know that wears it. I say, I go, that's Cody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were telling me that you started watching our show. You said there's a story. What's the story? Oh, we moved here in this area in uh, June of 2021 mm. from San Mateo. And uh, my partner had to do a lot of loose ends for like a month. And he still had the cats there, too. So I was here alone, and I didn't know anybody. And it was 100 and 58 degrees outside, <laughs> and I only had this piece of furniture and uh, a TV that wasn't connected to anything, so I had an antenna, so I either watched Cops or you. That was the only <laughs> choices I had. But you know what I loved about your show, and I still love about your show? Oh. You support the community. You support small businesses. You mm -hmm. support good causes. You support. You mix that in with regular news, but um, that's the news I love. It's, that's why it's called Good Day, because there's many episodes that I've cried and been inspired because... It's up to you guys to inspire people, not other shows that try to make you feel that you're not as good as you should be. You guys basically hug everyone. So you were like family to me and still are. Aww. And I've watched every day since. Aww. Because I write down, okay, what restaurant did they like? Or <laughs> what mountain am I supposed to climb? <laughs> That's better, that's better than any Emmy I'll never get offered. I like that. <laughs> so, okay, so we're going to show off some of his art, and then he and I are going to paint together, and we're going to talk a little bit about how, how this has helped you, you know, through some tough times. Sure. Some tough times, not the show, but the paintings. The show is the show. All right, back to you guys. Jeez, we, our, our promotions department can take the day off. After I know. That, that's you know? what I was saying. It's amazing. <laughs> I know. They just said the promotions department can take the day off. That was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So uh, when you put these up online, people are like, how much? How much? And what do you tell them? It's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> what about $50? No. $200? Mm -mm. 50000 Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this has really helped you. This has really helped you. Like, literally, as I've talked to you and gotten to know you, this, I think art has saved your life. I think these paintings have saved your life. It has, and the reason why you're here today, when I met you in physical therapy, um, it really helps my depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. and PTSD. You know, some people may not have all three. They're lucky. But we all deal with uh, things in our life that are difficult and hard. There's not one person that doesn't. And find something that brings you joy. It can be walking. It can be going out with friends or a movie. But remember that those that there's always another day that's better, or just around the corner, just... Remember that you're valid and you're important, 
and when I paint, a lot of those feelings go out the door because I'm doing something good for myself and I'm filling my life around with beauty. And how can you be depressed about that? See, aren't you guys learning how, why I fell in love with Joseph? He's amazing, yeah, amazing, learn. amazing. Okay. Don't learn from him painting, learn from me. <laughs> no. Okay, so what are, what are we going to do this morning? We, uh, this is from a photo. Um, I didn't want to bring the photo out because this is a painting, not a photo we're doing. But, okay. And plus okay. I couldn't really get it on my tablet. Anyway, <laughs> this is the painting that we're both going to paint. I was going to do my own thing, but that's not good because we want to teach you, you to teach me. what to do. Yeah. So and, I'll, and I'll teach you soon how to be a good producer as well. <laughs> That's going to take a lot longer oh, yeah. than this the painting. Uh, okay, so how do we start? What do I need to do? First, we're going to start with the light colors first because it's hard to cover black. I mean, you can do white on it, but if you start doing the black on the bottom, you might end up smearing it up. So the very first thing is the, almost the simplest thing, which I love about painting. Oh, and first of all, mm -hmm. just like gardening, there are no rules in painting. Okay. And don't be afraid to approach a canvas. This is a couple of bucks. And if you don't like it, rinse it off or yeah. paint it white. Okay. All right. and, you'll don't, you know, and you'll be surprised what you come up with. And don't tell yourself that you're not good enough because we all are good enough no matter what we do. You're like a motivational poster with I a goatee. Be. You know what? <laughs> if it's important to validate ourselves, don't expect someone else to do that. Mm -hmm. It has to be ourselves because if you're going to look for validation from someone else, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. You have to get it from our own hearts, and I get that from my paintings. I just love them. I, I love them. Okay. Myself okay. As Picasso. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses on. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so here is the mountain scene, and um, I'll do my first. And that's actually the only line you have to draw, so don't panic. Okay. Oh, and I paint the sides because some people might not want to frame them because that costs like $8,000 to frame something. But this way, it's, if it's on the wall, you'll see that it continues over. Okay. So when you start, you want to kind of divide the canvas. You don't want this mountain up to here. It's almost like uh, third, third, third okay. is how I usually do it when okay. you do uh, like a landscaping. Okay, okay. So we're going to start about right about here. I start on the edge too. And it doesn't have to be exact, remember? No painting is exact. Um, put your own spin on it. You know, put polka dots on it if you want, or or put bow ties in the air. <laughs> uh, but I love doing this. And my partner and I one time went to those paint and sit places, which are fun. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. We didn't really want to do what they wanted to do. And Patrick put um, spaceships in the sky with picking people up on the bottom of that. Of course he did. Now, did you want to do that too? Do you want me to hold this? Yeah, you hold that. Although this do you want me to start singing? This is very dangerous me handing you a microphone. Smooth operator. <laughs> I'll, I'll sing my Chardet songs. I'll do a little, little mountainy. Okay. All right. Okay. I've got oh, my that's beautiful. I'm going to cry. Perfect. Okay. So okay. What next? Next, we're going to start with the sky. So what I pick any brush, it honestly doesn't care what size it is because we'll just smash it around in any way. You know, this is all smoke and mirrors, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so we're going to start with the dark first because it's a sunset, and we start with the dark paint. Get it, your paintbrush wet okay. a little bit. And then dip it in the uh, the darkest color blue, which is this one. This one? Mm-hmm. And you can do it as fast as you can so we can cover that area. So I start with the edge okay. because we can always um, lighten this up with a little white paint or what have you or with a paper towel. But right now we want to cover a good, maybe a little quarter of the top of the canvas with this color. Okay. And remember, we're having fun and we're laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. We're having fun. We're laughing. You know, and you're doing an adequate job. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my performance review <laughs> at, at Paramount the other day. Adequate. You're doing an adequate job. That's all we're looking for. Okay, so uh, we've started. Actually, you know, I, you know, you're probably doing better than me because, um, yeah, this is about this for this one. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll continue on in our painting. We'll talk some more about how this saved his life. I'm telling you, art saved his life. And maybe somebody out there is, is struggling, and maybe this could help them too. That's the purpose. You know, if I can actually just get one person to sit down and go, you know what? Maybe I'll pick up that coloring book again, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and or, and um, and get myself out of my own head, because you know what? Like my therapist tells me, uh, what what did she say? Don't overthink it. Yeah, 
yeah. enjoy life and be present because what we, in the past is gone. Mm. You know, the future's not Good here. point. Mm-hmm. Today is yeah, today. Good point. Tomorrow's tomorrow. Tomorrow's tomorrow. And so today we're going to paint a happy little painting. Snaps, snaps. Back to you guys. Cody, we'll you got we'll the best painting. positive reinforcement this morning. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm going to cry. Yeah. We're almost Doing done a great with job. Now, I, I feel pretty good about this, quite honestly. I feel like this is, this is some of my finest work. No, Cody, I love it better than mine. Let's trade. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get one last piece to do, last thing to do. What do I need to do? He needs to paint the sun. Okay. So do it a perfect pr- circle, not a pair like I kind of did. Okay. And there you go. Don't mess up. <laughs> I love it. Now, remember, the whole point of this uh, is, is really therapy. And this art, doing this art, saved your life. It saved your life. You were up to how much? Do, do you mind sharing your story? Oh, for, you know, my, oh, my weight or my yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Well, years ago, I got up to 470 pounds. And then eventually, I ended up getting heart failure in 2020. I'm sure that had a lot to do with it. Mm. But even before that, I had quit drinking. So I'm six years sober. But I knew if I wanted to live my life any more than I was, um, you have to do it yourself. No one can do it for you. No one can do anything for you. You have to do it yourself and be motivated. So I started painting to fulfill my needs that I thought were missing instead mm. of having food to do that for me or booze. Mm. So now I don't have much of an appetite, but I have an appetite to surround myself with beauty, with my garden and with my painting. And that's what feeds my soul. And the days I don't do it, the days I, I can go into a dark place. Mm. So my message was no matter where you are in your life um, and you're not even creative, go take a walk or call a friend. Don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself because you know you need to get up and realize that you know with my heart issues that I have I'm lucky if I can wake up the next morning and when I do I'm like I can make a painting yeah I love that Joseph I love it I love it so much uh we've put up your Instagram handle so if people want to want to follow but what's the name of it again Inner inner peace, inner peace paintings. paintings. Well, I just had to do Instagram the other day. <laughs> inner, inner peace, peace paintings. paintings, which I think is what I, why I do it. Yeah, and and so you can look at his paintings, but remember, you can't buy them. So, when did you decide Maybe. to start giving them to people? I realized that um, even people like someone who used to do my hair, um, now she does my beard, <laughs> um, that. I may not see this person for a long time, and yet we had a close relationship and conversations for a short while, and it's a way of letting them remember who I was, and that I may have left an imprint in their life, and it made them happy, because I would say, what are your colors you like? And I would make her a painting with Mm -hmm. the colors that she liked, and they were surprised by it, and I continued doing that with other people, people at my physical therapy office, they each have one, and I, I got... I get more joy out of that. Yeah. I've had a few people online that are still waiting for a couple that they wanted to buy. And that was like three years ago. And I'm like, I haven't forgotten about it. I'll send it to you. I just think, I think it's lovely that you give these out. Because they, they really are, I mean, you, seriously, you're so talented. You're so talented. Uh, thank you for having me out today. I've enjoyed sitting down here in this beautiful garden painting with you all morning. You're the best, Joseph. Thank you, and I and I want you to come back tomorrow. I had a great time. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, and make sure to tell everyone I'm going to come into the studio so you all get a painting from me. Yeah. Uh, Joseph is going to come to the studio either next week or, or he's going to bring paintings for everybody from the studio. Oh, yeah. oh great. That is so cool. Thank you. That was fun. All right, back to you guys. Thanks, Code.